Okay guys, Paul Markle from Student of the Gun here, and I want you to check this out. <laughs> this is the VZ58, or the Czech AK. Uh, you say, oh, the purists out there just got mad at me. The purists out there just said, that is not a Czech AK. That is its own rifle. It's the VZ-58. Yes, I know. Let's talk about some of the specifics of the VZ-58. Well, first of all, it has a bolt hold open magazine. Yes, that's right. We can hold the bolt open with the magazines. Uh, this particular model is the VZ-58 Victor. The VZ-58 Papa was the fixed stock model, and the side folding model is the Victor, the VZ-58 Victor. Uh, this one's actually relatively lightweight. The gun empty only weighs about six and a half pounds or so, but it's a very well-built gun. So it, if you look closely, you'll see that the receiver is a machined receiver. This is not stamped and folded like your typical AK. It's a machined receiver. Over here on the side, this is kind of unique. You see, the, the, when it's on safe, it sticks down. You know, that's, you're like, that's kind of weird, it sticks down. Actually, they did that on purpose. So if you had a gloved hand and you're holding this with a gloved hand, you could feel the safety underneath your gloved or mittened or whatever hand and to put it on semi, you pull it back towards you. And if this, now this one is a US civilian legal semi-automatic gun. It is not a select fire gun. But if this were a select fire gun, what you would do is to push it forward for full auto, or you'd pull it backwards for semi-auto and straight up and down is safe. So the selector lever is right there on the right side. Obviously you have a relatively ambidextrous charging handle. If I was a lefty, it would be easy for me to get to the charging handle and being a righty, I'd get to it there. Now this does have a 16 inch barrel with a slant brake on it. Let's talk about the furniture for a second. All of you Bakelite freaks, all of you guys out there that, that love to talk about on your online forums, Bakelite magazines, or uh, if you're uh, Eastern European, Bakalite or Baklet. But the Bakelite, this forend and the pistol grip are actually, it's Bakelite polymer mixed with wood chips to reinforce it. So you have wood chips, wood shavings blended with the Bakelite to construct the furniture. Kind of unique. And think about it, it was uh, probably very easy to manufacture and relatively inexpensive. So they, you have your Bakelite, your Bakelite forend, and your Bakelite pistol grip. And if this was the, the P version, you'd have a Bakelite stock back here. Uh, this gun functions kind of like, it, it functions very similarly to uh, an SKS. So, but it is a 762 by 39. Let's talk about the feeding devices for a second. Uh, these magazines uh, are not interchangeable with AKs. No, you cannot use AK magazines in the VZ58, and you cannot use these in AKs. They look similar, and if you hold an AK magazine up to this magazine, the curvature is identical. The curvature is the same, uh, but they are a little bit different. Number one, these are aluminum which is kind of funny. So you've got Bakelite forend and a Bakelite pistol grip, and instead of making Bakelite magazines, they decided, no, we're gonna make aluminum magazines. Now this ridge back here, if you look at this ridge, you see that? That ridge is where the bolt hold open device sits. So if you didn't have a bolt hold open, you wouldn't need this ridge back here, but when it's on, you know, when it's empty, the little ridge pops up and it holds the bolt open. If you know your standard AKs do not have a bolt hole open uh, for a reason. Now this is a gas piston operated gun. The piston runs right here so that if you look closely, there's a piston. When the gun fires, the gas comes up and just like an AK, it exits the barrel, the gas comes back through here, pushes the bolt back, the bolt, there's dual recoil springs in there, 
and it retracts, grabs a new round. Uh, it is completely open top, so when you fire this gun, the, the brass could come out and arc to the right, or it could go straight up or up and to the left. You just never know. I've actually shot this gun and had brass go in all directions. I've actually had it come up and come back down and hit me on the head. It doesn't happen all the time, but it has happened. Uh, the VZ-58, these originally came into, uh, into service uh, in Czechoslovakia, which now is the Czech Republic. Uh, came into service in 1959, and according to the interwebs, they were manufacturing new versions of this gun from 59 to 84. Uh, they have different guns now. CZ is making different guns, in, but these, it's just like AKs. Obviously, they were on the AK-101, 102, 103, 104, 105, whatever, but original AKs and AKMs and AK-47s are still all over the place. They didn't just disappear. Same thing with the VZ-58. Even though there are newer versions of guns for the Czech Republic, these are still all over. And if you look on the interwebs, you will find that these guns are listed as being in service during the current Ukrainian the Russo-Ukrainian War. Uh, apparently, some of the reservists, for, uh, reservists and, and paramilitary guys are over in Ukraine using the VZ-58s right now. Uh, why did Czechoslovakia do that? Uh, why did they decide not to, whereas Bulgaria and Yugoslavia and Poland and East Germany, they're all making AKs, right? They just, uh, we could, you could talk about the strained relations between the Czechs and the Russians and and how they wanted to be independent, they want to do their own thing. They're like, yeah, we're part of the Soviet Union, but we're gonna do our own thing. Uh, is this a better gun than the AK? Is the AK a better gun? That's open for debate. Uh, this is a very well-made gun. Uh, it's an extreme, like I said, it's a machine receiver. It's very well made. It has a lot of good features on it. Uh, it's actually a little bit lighter. I think it's about a pound lighter than a standard AK is. So. And they're a lot of fun to shoot. They're a lot of fun to shoot. They use the 7.62x39, uh, and that's pretty much it when it comes to, you know, what is similar to the AK between this, I mean, the, the silhouette. Obviously, the silhouette is similar uh, because of the curvature of the magazine. It's kind of similar. These are 30-round magazines, 30-round aluminum magazines. Uh, so there you go. A whole lot of fun to shoot. If you can find one of these, uh, it's been about... Oh, I don't know, 10, 15 years since these were being imported on a regular basis into the United States. Uh, I don't believe there's any being imported right now. So what's here is what's here and that's that. If you really want one, you're just going to hunt, have to hunt the auction sites and so forth. But this is the VZ-58, the Czech answer to the AK-47. I am your host, Paul Markle. Remember, you're a beginner once, a student for life.